seems to have that one final gear and it's going to be another victory at the trials of miles muhammad trying to make the late bid but it's eric colt for the fourth time Holy fuck. Who's really checked that one? Oh, that hurt. I got a lot of New Year's resolution goals, but obviously one of them is to uh, hit the standard for outdoor worlds and, you know, post June, hit the Olympic standard for next year. So, you know, run essentially like a 350 mile PR in the eight and, you know, get my world standard up there. <laughs> Alright, I was, I was a little late today. A lot of traffic yeah, for CS School. <laughs> I'm late, but worth the wait. Hopefully. <laughs> 12 Ks and then some uh, quick 200s at the end. Uh, first four, like 458 pace. Next four, like 420 pace. And then final four, uh, 458 pace. And then uh, we got some quick 200s. Not too crazy, but it uh, should be a good one. Let's take three minutes here, okay? I'm feeling physically, mentally good. I can do this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I just, I just don't think 30 seconds even matters, so why not just shoot your 30? Right. Eric, Eric is a tough, tough guy to slow down, so. He's a monster. You know, I mean, they all are. I mean, you know, everybody wants to run through a brick wall, but uh, you can't do that all the time. <laughs> Holt has told me that he can easily break nine in the steeple. <laughs> and then he went over <laughs> one hurdle in practice and the coach is freaked out. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> I, well, I, 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 I can dunk a ball, so I, I would assume I could jump over barriers. Oh God, Jumping dude. and hurling are two dude, different things. dunking is not a hard thing to do compared what? to doing a steeplechase. I, I think it's pretty difficult. Yeah, you know, uh, this is uh, where I excel pretty heavily, but uh, it's a good one. I can't, I, Dylan Brickner told me I can't go too heavy, so unfortunately, no, no 315 back squat today. But, uh, but he did admit I can go up to 225, so. It, it's always been a strength of mine. It's funny because to other runners, I'm seen as really strong, but to my dad, I'm seen as like very small and weak. So it's, you know, it's kind of a give and go, you know? We have him on an actual real strength program. Uh, which, uh, you know, he's not out there in the park doing, uh, you know, exercises with, the, with Joe Schmo out and, and uh, doing pull-ups and all that crazy stuff he was doing. But now he's on an actual uh, program with uh, Dylan Brickner, our strength coach. So, you know, a lot of things have changed. I expect to see huge development from him this year. Um, and he's, he's really ready to roll. Uh, my plan for Dr. Sanders in the mile is simply to win. Uh, I am not worried about time. I'm just worried about getting out hard, putting myself in position, and you know, out kicking anyone who's in my way, and winning, and hopefully make the water maker. I've been wanting to make the water maker since I was 14 years old, since I first saw it. You know, um, I, I dedicated. Uh, you know, my entire athletic career on running, and I knew I was a miler, and I saw myself in those guys, and I remember Bernard Legat won it, I don't remember how fast, but in like 350 something, and Bernard Legat was on like an eight, like, Milrose winning streak, so I was like, one day I'm gonna be in that race, and I maybe I'll have a chance and maybe win it one day, and you know, to me that excited me, and you know, like a lot of kids, you know, some kids, you know, give up on their goals by the time they're in their early 20s. And like, ah, it's not really realistic, but, you know, I never gave up. And hopefully I, I feel the magic. I feel like uh, I'll get in that water maker this year. 
I'm prepared. I'm ready. I'm in the best shape You're in January I've ever been in. I really truly believe yeah. I'm in 353 gotta, shape right now. For a 353 today, but I didn't quite have uh, you know the momentum in the last 600. But coach said it, as long as I get first or second and only lose to Drew Hunter, I'm into the Wanamaker mile and. The meet director, uh, Ray Flynn, said I was in, so I should be in. I, I, I actually, I am in, so I, sh I will be running uh, the Watermaker Mile, which has been a dream of mine since I was 13 years old. And, you know, uh, not the time I was looking for. It is what it is, but uh, I promise you this will be the slowest I run uh, all indoors. So I will get faster as the season goes along. So possibly running New Balance next week. We'll see. but. Definitely will be running Milrose Watermaker and I expect to run a lot quicker.